if you're the Philadelphia Eagles and you are serious about being a playoff team this year, making a Super Bowl run, you have to fire Nick Sirianni immediately. If he walks in that building Monday morning, his key card works, cross the Eagles off as a Super Bowl contender, cross them off as a playoff team. Because they are going nowhere with that guy leading their team. And it's not because he's a bad head coach. We already knew that. It's not because his team is underperforming. We also already knew that and saw that last year. But what he did today was show two things. Number one, he showed he has no emotional maturity when it comes to dealing with criticism. But also the bigger thing is he does not identify the problems with the Eagles. In case you missed it, Nick Sirianni and what was a barn burner, and I say that sarcastically, of a game against the Browns in which you barely beat Cleveland 20 to 16. And again, that was ugly. By the way, you came out of your bye. So you should have been sharper with a sense of urgency. Came out sluggish, not playing well. And you barely beat the Browns, the hapless Browns 20 to 16. And in that game, as it was 10 10 and halftime, and there was real questions of if the Eagles were going to win this game or not. Eagles fans, rightfully so, booing this team. Booing the coach. Even chance of fire Sirianni broke out during the game. And so after the game, as the final seconds are ticking down, what does Nick Sirianni do? He takes off his headset, turns around, walks towards the fans. Remember, he's at home in this game. Walks towards his own fans, his hand cupped behind his ears, basically saying, what are you going to say now? I can't hear the boos. He was mocking his own fans. He was taunting the people that are supposed to support him. And why that's a big deal, why that is a fireable offense, is number one, if you are a serious organization, which the Eagles are, you cannot have your head coach acting like a complete jackass to your own fan base. That is how you lose them. He's already lost them to begin with. But that's how you don't get them back. You want to strut around, peacock around, because you beat a 1-5 in five team by four points at home, and you think you're the man, and that you think Eagles fans are stupid for booing you and saying to fire you? Number one, that's not how you act whatsoever, and that's not a guy I would want in charge of my team. If you're a serious team, that is not the guy you have representing you whatsoever. But number two, the bigger concern is this guy doesn't know what's wrong with the Eagles. Like, if he's reacting that way, he clearly does not understand why fans are booing, why fans want him fired. And him not understanding why they're upset is important because that means he can't find the roots of why this team is not playing up to their potential. That's where the frustration comes from. This Eagles team is one of the most talented rosters currently constructed in the NFL. They have talent everywhere. Yet offensively, your 2022 MVP caliber quarterback continues to look lost at times. You got your two best receivers back after they missed time. I mean, for A.J. Brown making his season debut, and boy, did you need him today to win this game. But your two best receivers are back. Saquon Barkley is back. Dallas Goddard is is back for a little bit. And that results in 20 points? Results in a close game? This offense is not playing up to where they should whatsoever. And this guy... Just clearly, he clearly does not know what's wrong with the team because this team in 2024 looks exactly like we saw them in 2023 at the tail end when they just collapsed. And instead of looking in the mirror, instead of figuring out what went wrong, Sirianni is essentially, despite hiring two new coordinators, rolled it back. And nothing has changed. So clearly in the offseason, the soul search that needed to go on did not happen because the same problems that plagued the Eagles last year are plaguing them again this year. And so now you're upset with the fans that are booing you, but you clearly don't understand why they're booing because if you did, you would accept like a man and say, you know what, we won this game, but the fans are right. They're booing because we're bad. We're not living up to their expectation, and they have every right to be upset, and I 
as a head coach, have to find a way to fix it. And instead, he walked around like a complete fool, mocking them, saying, I can't hear you. Like, a, like He looked like, honestly, an idiot. He looked like a total idiot that has no control or no self-awareness. But he actually, I take that the self-awareness part back because I think he does have a self-awareness. Because after the game, of course, this was visible in front of everybody. Fox cameras picked it up. So Philly beat writers saw this pretty quickly. So they knew going into the press conference, oh, we're going to ask about this for sure. And Sirianni definitely knew they were going to ask him about it because what did he do in the press conference? He brought his kids. He brought his three young children with him to the podium that sat on his lap and sat next to him. Why did he do that? He did it because he was too coward to face the noise. He hoped by bringing his kids that would soften the questions. And to the Philly media's credit, they did not care. They asked him what the hell was going on between you and the fans at the end of the game. And well, here is Nick Sirianni's explanation of what he was doing. No, just excited. Uh, just excited to get the win. Just excited to get the win. Yeah. It's hard to win in this league, so we're excited to get the win. Uh, our fans created a couple uh, um, false starts that really helped us win this football game. Um, but just excited to get the win and uh, appreciate appreciate the, uh, the link support. Ah, excited for the win. That right, of course, because every coach that wins a game taunts their own fans afterwards, right? Like, that, that's just common practice. Andy Reid gives the double bird as he's walking out of Arrowhead Stadium after the Chiefs win a game. And Sean McVay is cursing out Rams fans as he's run to the top of the big one. It's just common practice. Co- coaches act that way when they're excited for a win. Again, do you can you actually be a serious playoff team with this guy being the face of your team? The answer is absolutely not. No way. You know what head coaches are supposed to be? Head coaches are supposed to be erasers, first and foremost. Whether it's personnel, make some guys better than they're supposed to be with scheme, high deficiencies as well, offense or defense, right? They're supposed to have answers for problems on the field. They're also supposed to erase distractions. If there is a story, they're supposed to squash it. They're supposed to quell any drama. And that is all-encompassing. Owner-created, player-created, coach-created. You, as a head coach, the man who meets with the media more than any player or front office or owner on your team. He is the most front-facing person in the organization. You are supposed to eliminate distractions. And instead, Nick Sirianni created a giant distraction. All he's doing, all fighting a losing fight. You fight the fans, you lose every single time. So again, if you're the Eagles here and you are a, a or trying to be a serious playoff team at three and two, how can you call yourself a legitimate playoff contender with this fool representing your organization? You can't. You have to fire him immediately. Why like why wait? We all know he's a bad coach. Right? That's not not a question. He should have been fired even after with how last year went. He should have never been given an opportunity to coach the 2024 team. He got that. And now he is rewarding you, Howie Roseman, rewarding you, Jeffrey Lurie, with your faith in him by what? By fighting and mocking the fans after another subpar performance from the Eagles in which this season has Uh, Mimicked 2023. What is the justification? What is the reason to bring Nick Sirianni back to coach this team for one more day? There is none. He's toast. He should be fired. And if he continues to coach this team, even with all the talent they have, they're not a playoff team. They're not. Cross them off. They're unserious. Nowhere near Super Bowl contender, nowhere near playoff team. Not with Nick Sirianni running this squad.